स्माइल मोमेंट एवरी वन ऑल माई पेरेंट्स एंड ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट गुल्फ नमन क्रिया गुल्फ नमन क्रिया इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और वेरी बेनिफिशियल आर स्माल ज्वाइंट्स लाइक अ एंकल पेन काफ मसल्स पेन नी पेन एंड थाइस इट्स अ वेरी इजी एंड वेर एवर वी कैन डू एंड टेक अ बेनिफिट्स फॉर गुल्फ नमन क्रियाज ओपन योर लैक्स इन योर फ्रंट Make a distance one and a half foot between your legs. Keep your hands back side like this. Four, dandasan. The dandasan is very special asan. While doing any kind of sitting yoga posture, always we will sit in this posture. So dandasan, roll your shoulder outside. and relax your leg muscles while sitting now let's start gulp naman for gulp naman legs together and stretch your toes toward the body so stretch your toes toward the body like this one two try to touch on the floor your toes stretch maximum very nice more stretch three twist stretch and stretch and stretch four while stretching you should feel the stretch on your heel calf muscles knees and thighs five again more stretch stretch more and more and more and six it's very nice relax Just relax your leg muscles, close your eyes, and feel on your leg. Feel your heel, feel your calf muscles and knees. Relax and relax, relax. Smoothly open your eyes. My lovely friends, while doing Gulf Namal, I saw. mostly people are doing very fast very fast means they are doing gulf naman like this if we will do like this is not very effective because while doing this we are thinking oh we are doing too much but actually is not working in our entire legs when you slowly or concentratedly it's very effective in your heel ankle calf muscles knee and thighs that's why while doing gulf naman always do slowly slowly and it's a difference between yogic kriya and exercise if you open your eyes while doing this kriya that's the only exercise it's not very effective and really if you want to effect that condition you should be close your eyes then do this moment it's a very effective in your entire legs now we will do do again bit close your eyes and you feel a difference before and now for that again sit in dandasan your hands keep back side legs together now this time we will do bit close your eyes one stretch your toes toward the body stretch maximum with a smile and two try to touch on the floor your toes 
So I have to touch maximum on your capacity. Three, again stretch toward the body. While stretching, you should concentrate one thing always. Your heels are raised or not, it's not important. Stretching is very important. They stretch more and more. And fourth, try to touch on the floor your toes again. While stretching, you should concentrate your whole concentration on your heel, calf muscles, knees and thighs. Five, again, with a smile. More stretch, more stretch and more stretch. Six. Try to touch on the floor your toes. More stretch and relax. Again, make a distance one and a half foot between your legs and relax your tight muscles, calf muscles or ankle. Just observation at least 30 to 40 seconds. After relaxation, it's a very beneficial for your ankle, calf muscles, knees and thighs. And this moments, wherever and whatever time you can do, especially I would say that kind of mothers and fathers who are suffering like knee problems, calf muscle problems, they can do on the bed also or they can do thrice a day for more benefits. So thank you very much. You should do every day this moment and take a benefits for your entire legs. Thank you very much. Keep a smile every moment in your life for my side. Thank you very much.